Oh, hey there. Hello. Do you know how to backup files across devices? That's a totally normal thing to ask a stranger in the forest. Why? Well, I've been using this flash drive for many years and it's not very convenient. Wait, you've been using this flash drive to keep all your files. Do you do any backups? Yeah and no, I don't. What's the problem? Aren't you scared of losing it? Not really. How would I lose it? You literally brought your most important files without backup right here into this forest where you could lose them at any point and have no chance of finding them ever again. Again, how would I lose it? Well, where do you store it? In my pocket. And what else do you store in your pocket? My phone. And how often do you take out your phone? About every two minutes. Um, how much do you sleep? Seven and a half hours usually, don't know how that's relevant. That gives you about 495 chances to accidentally slip the flash drive out without noticing while you're awake. Damn, that was quick. H how did you do that? Uh, I act really strange when after a party. Uh, I barely remember anything. But that number just somehow came up in my head. Yeah, you're right. It's 495 chances. Also, you awfully look familiar. Dude, I only wanted to make things more convenient, but fuck, now I'm scared. Dude, you gotta give me a solution. You want to back up your files? Yes. And you'd want to have it synchronized across all your devices? Yes. And you want to have it seamless? Precisely. And you don't want to have... Hey there, your... I'm with Google. Did someone mention file backup and synchronization? Where? How? How the hell did you yes, find us? I want to sync files. Wait, we can't trust him. D did you invite him here? Damn, huh? Exactly. We're in the middle of nowhere, and this guy just walks up to you and is about to propose a magic solution. Precisely. With Google Drive, your files get synchronized across your devices with the power of the cloud. It's that simple, and works as a great backup. Damn, how do I sign up? What the hell, dude? Do you know what these guys do with your data? They run Minecraft on it. Actually, we mine the data, not run Minecraft on it. See? I wasn't supposed to say that. Not only that, this guy literally found us in the forest. Ask yourself, how? And while you're answering that question, I'm going to take care of him. Hold up! What the fuck, dude? Sometimes we must make sacrifices. Oh god! What have you done? You killed a person! Also, what Google was saying sounded so perfect. How can I now find something like Drive? It sounded like the perfect sync thing. Did someone see sync thing? Wait, how the fuck? How the hell did you get here? Well, I can only guess, but I believe when this gentleman shot Google, the bullet triggered the voice search function, which called me when you said sync thing. Guess what? I am with sync thing. That makes no fucking sense. It's a Google agent, not Google itself. It doesn't have a fucking voice... Wait, wait, wait. It's all coming back. <laughs> you set this all up. You did. Wait, wait. Can any of you two explain what the hell is going on? Alright, alright. You wanted to sync files. Let me explain. Remember, you're not with clear mind right now. Alright, alright, alright. You go. That whole shred about being with Sync Thing, that's a bunch of nonsense. But, I've used Sync Thing for a long time, and I've waited 66 years to tell you just how awesome it is.
Has it been around for 60 years? Nah, just think of it as figurative speech for now. You'll come to understand it later, but uh, the awesome thing about Sync Thing is that it kind of works like a Google Drive. Really? The exact same synchronization, the exact same backing up, the exact same seamlessness, and much more. There's more? Yeah, with Google Drive you can't really know who has access to your files and what they do with them. Sync Thing is private. All you do is run a node on every machine of yours and build this network. Kind of like Torrent Protocol, but for your own files. There's an app for Windows, Linux, Mac, even Android. Although on Android you really want to install the fork because it works much, much better. Damn, that sounds so developer-like. I sometimes wonder who came up with these names. Well, obviously not Oracle. What? Oracle is a company that doesn't make anything, really. Uh, presumably they have more lawyers than developers. And lawyers are then able to come up with better names uh, than, you know, Sync Thing or the Fork app, which probably makes it more accessible uh, to regular people. Damn, you did an excellent job at explaining a joke. By the way, did you know that three billion devices run Java? Nope, that, that's an interesting fact. Well, now you do. Be sure to tell it yourself 33 years down the line. Besides, sync thing was literally the pair of words used to describe an app that synchronizes files across devices. How is that not accessible to a regular person? True. I guess it's just people not being used to it being so straightforward. Now, is there anything else you didn't mention? Oh yes. Now, if you wanted to back things up to an untrusted cloud, you can set up an encryption password, which keeps both your files both private and uh, backed up off-site. You just need to make sure that every device of yours uses the same password for the untrusted device. And finally, you can keep multiple versions of your files. And there is a lot of variety in file versioning, but the most important thing is that even if one of your devices gets infected with ransomware, the script for your time travel sketch is still going to stay intact. Wait! How the hell did you know about the time travel stuff? 